their faces and already taking so much space. Aspas wants to make that crowd sing his song. Oh! Rings it home, already two big kills and slicing through them. He is aggressive, Mike. Spike down as well, noted actually the trouble. He's going to tag onto Meteor as well. Aspas able to dip away, so will remain as five for the time being. Genji desperately trying to scramble their way towards B site, but Zadak still chilling. Some utility to work with. Looks like he might even give up the initial approach here. No rotation coming through from Loud just yet, but Meteor has to find something here. Yeah, Sada can just hold this space really nice. He does relinquish a little bit of that site control. Fair enough. Doesn't want to overstep the mark. Again, for Loud, we've got to see they're not going too far past the mark. As much as the adrenaline will be pumped in, keep it in the right place throughout this. Good trades. Loud's with a two for one. And now just one alive, first round for Loud. Coming out, we've seen present towards that A lobby now as well, at least pushing out A. Same on B. They know it's going to be an all in A piece because Aspas has already broken through the back lines. So if you're going to be Genji, you've got to go faster. Right now, they're just being sent to the blender. Good pick up for King, but it's instantly traded. There's bodies here. Loud, fully ready to commit to just sending players out. Whoa. Oh my word. Too easy. Making it look as such. And now the 2v3. Three still standing for Loud and the two on the other side. Do have a rifle and a bulldog. Upgrade found. That's two rifles to work yeah, with. Aspas though in the back lines. Slow burn. All this space. They're pushing to try to pinch towards what they know, which is Pit. Good find. Good trade. Another 1v1. But do they even consider it. this? King has read it. Oh, the shot. Aspas. Second bite of the cherry now. 50 seconds. He wants to you know, upgrade, find the rifle, which he's got now. Fair fight to be had. 1v1. Tap on the spike. He's been drawn in, but it's going to be a fade for the shot stop. Big yeah, damage. Missing. The confidence is sky high for him. Five retake for Loud. Galzin's got a lot of utility to play with, and that's a good first step. Flash to follow. Does he have support? No, it's just him on the side. Seek is going to come down the double swing as well. They're ensuring this round is going their way. They've invested so many of these ults as well to make that the case, and King seals it. Fantastic work from Gen Genji after that timeout as well. Coming out, instantly answering back with four alive. Needed to be like that as well with four surviving try and get themselves some kind of grasp of the economy. Here it is. Yeah, it's right over top of shops, yeah. Oh, that's stunning. What a dream come true that is. Oh. Like I said, how this has started, they need something like that every round. Yeah. Again, it just so happens to be Aspas on the other end. Sadak might be the one. Sadak anything yet. Wow, well, doesn't need to. Doesn't need to. Fully blind, just backs away. He's done so much damage. The Seeker's going to come out. Everyone's now flying over to the side. They know this is where the end goal is. Aspas, he's postured up, but actually Secret ahead of where he expected. Sitting a little deeper towards the site. And Viper's Pit going to come in to secure that plant. It's problematic for now. They need a lucky kill or two through the Viper's Pit here. Still a 4v4. Kelsey did burn up the Seekers. Oh, yeah, he can falls. Well, you wanted a lucky kill. That's only a start. Kalzin is still going. And King's just, oh my no god, brilliant. Oh, the timing, King! Keeping his crown in this round, at least. Needs one more. Dips away out of the old Right choice here, playing the smart. Making them work for this. And patience. He's not even falling through. He's got utility to run through here. So, oh, my god. oh, King, lovely work. Lovely work. Landing. Commitment towards the B side, and there's That's the Viper's pit and the lockdown coming in. This is a massive space to know. The Meteor still slicing through middle. A quick handling of that though from Les will at least eliminate that threat for 12 seconds. They've got the spike down and they actually get away with their life. And lockdown destroyed as well. I'm gonna try and stick this out here. That's at least half. It's gonna be punished. Gen G still standing and only one. The ult was invested. A wall still in place. How much can one man do? He's got one shot, he's got one down, another tap on the spike trying to draw the attention and the paranoia. Starting to build, goes back in, and the double face is there, Gen G. I am thoroughly impressed with this Here roster. This was this. Can he do he's it? Popped the it. He's popped it, he's heard the steps. He is coming, he finds one, gets away, falls away to the second angle. Another bite in the other one! He's still standing, just gets away, and one more victim. Oh, so close! But finally goes down. Now a 1v3. This might be the end of the tear for Gen G, but they still will hold the lead. 13 seconds. Loud. Bring it up to five. Especially but with the pace they were expecting Loud to revert back to and the chaos they're going to be able to create with this composition. The double walls, Cow and Zine going to be able to go rampant here to try and en enable Aspas to deliver once again. Well, that's Delayed yeah, knife, lots of info. Four considered. 
And at this point, they look like they're still committing behind this as well. CGNG trying to add a little bit more information beside this. Nothing noted towards middle, so it is still very much all towards that B site here, Mike. Pause for thought. I'm going to wait out this wall a little bit here, but as soon as it drops, see, actually, the hit comes through. No contact just yet. Absolute chaos in here, Lauren. Yeah, it is. There's two on the back of the site still, and they finally kind of show their hand here. King being one of them and Secret the other. Still looking to do it, but actually, that flash does not make it around that corner. And Secret oh my God. unleashes three kills in the pistol already, leaving just left alive, who was trying to watch that flank sit for that deeper plot. It's done. Defuse. On route and Gen G turning this place into a library. I mean, that was. Aspas, gonna have his hands full here. Oh. TS just avoiding being spotted, oh, but Sadak over the top. Yeah, the angle just giving it away. Massive. Really diligent as well, considering Aspas was already kind of clearing past that. That's lovely. Big info being worked out here, and that spike is slowly leaning towards the A site as well. It's just oh, it's a over there. Yeah. Meteor. Got to try and play his life here. Okay, that's uh, they've got to know what's happening now. Meteor, this is so scary though. Actually, yeah, backs away a little bit, so it's a little bit safer, but actually it's loud in the meantime. Finding every fight that they need to. King still working back. What is that from King? Again, this guy is making rounds out of nothing, but Meteor can make nothing of that position in the end. I have to respect this lockdown now. The clock has become the second layer of pressure here. Well, Eco's just going to look for maybe an exit. Be spotted by Sadak. Actually, going to face off here on the flank with less potentially. Maybe just trying to punish the economy a little bit. See where that retake is going to come from. Looks like vast majority through CT, potentially secret. What do they have to work with tool wise? They've got a little bit of utility still in practice here. Actually, a fair amount on secret. No command popped as well. They want in on this. Forcing them away from the side. Aspas unrelenting though. Still gonna hold. Take down secret. That's a front man gone. No trades available either. Aspas getting away with freedom. Res comes in though. Now we look for the fight. Echo towards the side. Takes down Aspas. Flash to follow. That should give it away. The Seekers certainly do. But King now blinded. Falls away. Actually still standing. Cozy! You wanted this player to step up. And he might just be doing that. Makes a damn good go of it. Mid presence will be seen. Sadak put on the chopping block though. Big pressure! What? Big response! Big plays from the man leading the way. And that's heartbreaking to find two on that. Well, Trying to get proactive, good. but. Oh, wow, wow. Getting away with daylight robbery here. Kauzin just up to the task. Less trying to make a run for it. King's probably got him dead here. It feels like. No way! You think, right? You think? You think. That's on me. That's on me. Prime gaming flawless. Denji's frenzy is hit different. Oh. I guess the short you don't know. Bess gets away with 18 HP, but. Good trade. Yes, gonna seal the deal on that one. Oh, knives invested. They, they want King out of it. King can just buy a couple of seconds. It's gone. Aspas rips those seconds away from him. Echo needs to fall away as well. Sight's now under that loud control. The cross is not secured, though. TS still with a rifle. Right. Oh, good headshot, but not good enough. Great shot. Echo. Flash comes in. Once the rifle gets it, backs away. 2v2 now. And this is tense as all hell. You have the lockdown. Don't want to throw anything else at Ooh. this. That's fast posted. That's a trade off shot set. But Meteor will fall. 40 HP for Eco. Just spot the barrel. Oh, God. This is so deadly. He's going to have to get past Sadak first. And now Aspas turns. It's 12 below. Just put it on a show for us, making it look way too risky for too long. But they claw this one back. And Meteor. <laughs> Crowd letting him know they saw that. He backs away. But they all invested. And actually, Aspas quick to the site. And he's on the hunt. That's a little too much for my taste. But again, TS still in question. Fully blind, dead. Only trade to come in though, that's three players alive for now. Huge. It is gonna make anything of it, they're trying to chase them down, they do the best they can. Still standing, still fighting! Not out of it yet, Sadak! Holding the ground and gets the ult in. Look at Les though. Look at Les's position. What He's all the way through sewer. Is this? He's gonna catch the backside of this lockdown. There's no King's turned and look King's this way. It. What? King, how do you even think about that? Sadak. 
<laughs> the leader himself here. He's got the operator. He's got Tommy back with him, and he's got a plan here. What does he do with it? Up against Meteor and King, two of the big boys. The impact players for Gen G. Show me what you got, Sadak. He doesn't know the amount of time he's had, so he's made the best guess he could here. It's out towards the back of the site. Can he isolate any of these fights here? He's actually holding up towards long with the turret covering this way. Now should read it. I actually think the turret's facing this way. Opportunity to swing off it. Can he get one? He needs a clean kill here. There's a chance and it's a miss. Oh, it's a ball! He's got a swap out! Rifle. Spray and break! Oh my God. It. And it ain't got on to it. It's a crowd! What a clutch! from Sadak. Pulls off the 1v2, the shorty. How? 150 credits paying dividends here for allowed to close out Pearl. You see the steps here from TS. Okay, that's one, but there is still a second. And they're going for the they double pump. The uh, they're coming right back around. It's on Meteor, basically. Oh, my word, the shoulder peak was enough. He was able to back away from this, and that shorty's going to send him packing. Aspas down to 24 HP, 13 seconds, and they're being denied. The Spike might have issues on the site now. They're trying to follow on through. Meteor trying to play his life. Seven seconds, and it's going to be denied. Massive work coming out from Gen G. Went, oh, there it is. Ah, it decides. I was a little more worried about Sand, but they're not quite that far out. But what a snap from TS. Now sign a sweat in this king still on the site. Trying to locate Aspas. That's he huge. Him first. Aspas down. Spike's in the doorway still. Two E's. Two E's, maybe he can get the drop on one, but they've got to start questioning it at some point. I mean, it's 30 seconds. He has to commit to this flank now. And I love this readjust though from yep, Genji. Just getting close by. Further. Really nice. Like that, playing smart together. And there it is. Contact made. Now you can see the, this, this is almost impossible. King spotted. And then this time, it's all about time. 13 seconds, and eventually we'll see that flank even coming back on in as King doing wonders now for Gen G. Three on the trot. King just farming at the moment. Actually, gonna pop the ult, feels the pressure coming in, and rightly so. There are plenty more players to follow. <laughs> Lovely from Edia. Sends him right on back down. A second attempt at this. Couldn't quite keep the control here. Now King's on a little bit of a island, overwhelmed. Loud making a good go of this, but that ult might could be huge. Secret actually found Sadak on the drift out there from that orbital strike. Karen Zine, very tacked up, has to peel away from this. Nobody towards A site right now, but you can already see the preemptive rotation coming through as the spike will make its way towards Ditch. I think actually, on the back of loud cutting sound, might find themselves in a favorable position here. A 3v2 granted to Gen G. Yeah, Secret's time. <gasps> beautiful, oh. beautiful from Secret. I was so worried about that. If that was missed time slightly, but it wasn't. Time to perfection, and now they don't have the same sort of space. And they're already considering that doubling back well. around, but you can see it being read, being worked through TS, noting the player who's tried to secure this B site. Spike on the way, but 20 seconds. If there's anything disruptive, if too easy falls too quickly, Maybe out of reach. 13 seconds. Spike gonna go down. And Teresa gonna try and do some quick damage. Big Actually kill. paid off. Gets to fall away from this. Kauzin only on 10 HP though. Roll the thunder TS now. Yes, well. held back. They need to make this work for themselves. And he's gonna make the most of it. Oh, what? what a shot from TS. Kauzin's on 10 HP. Kauzin. 1v2. Gotta play this to perfection. No less will do it. Spots a barrel, spots a player, gets a kill. 1v1 now, TS. You're not He's sticking it. it. I'm not going to do it for the crowd. This He's is a different sticking game. it. This is a different game. There's a crowd in here. They're going to make noise, and Kauzi knows it. Let's do the final moment here, TS. Continue forward. And it looks like they're trying to commit to this fully. Yeah, loud, making no secrets of this one. And well, you can see as to why Meteor is deleted off the site, but a quick trade for Secret. Comes back through. It's too easy. These are back and forth frags, but the site will be under control for Loud. That's the plan coming in, and my eyes instantly drift towards Les. What can he achieve in this position? Just securing any of that drop down, any of those areas that could have been a threat, but potentially King could be exploring. And King's got a couple of flashes to work with, but he's actually Ooh. found one on site. Cowan Zine's gonna fall, so now he can flash himself out. Yeah, turn though, nice. Really good work from Les, very diligent. The pressure from the Neon. 
And yeah, brilliance from Lester, just falling away, making him work for him, buying precious seconds the door. Shuts in his face and the round goes to loud. And they do have one player towards the site. Now trying to clear towards tower, does it? That's a big objective achieved here on the checklist of the retake. But now you have to disrupt the players sitting deep on the other side. I think Thunder gonna come through. Ooh, Meteor deleted. Are they gonna sit on this spike? No one's moving them just yet. Still, no one moving. There we go, finally the shot comes in. Got a little too close for comfort there. I was gonna say, the timing on that smoke dropping was gonna be crucial, because Gen G, in broad daylight, sticking that defuse. Hang on, Sadak's already Sadak out so Sand. far out, what? And King's still finding that is ridiculous. But the fact that he got so far out by Sand, without being checked on, Tell me how, but Genji responding massively. All players now drawn over. They're trying to retake the space, and they're going to be catching them completely unawares. The spray's done enough for less, but those shots are hitting. And now the 1v1. Pass pass against Meteor. A minute to play with them, plenty of mind games if they want it. And a drastic outgun in favor of Aspas here. Meteor has to respect this amount of space. He's not got the read. Certainly does not. Aspas has swapped out to a rifle as well. We get the free plant. Well, Meteor is actually going to retrieve an upgrade here before he goes for this retake. He's not. No utility. Where's he going for? Fight's happening, Aspas, oh, man. Oh, oh, oh. This guy is so clean with it. Wow. Yeah, but again, That's... the amount of space Sadak's finding, but they already expect this to an extent. Oh, but the shoulder check just gives Sadak even more capability here. Pressure, though, can't make it away. Secret quells that aggression, but note where the spike's going. It's all down to one, and King has a finite amount of time to play with. Yeah, done for. Lau just running rings around them right now. Both players coming across from Bridge. Meteor and Secret, both ultimates available. Two, he's looking to greet them on the way in here. Finds the first, his third on the round. Can Secret respond here? Just hit the one shot, he'll be fine. Secret, he's <laughs> done, he's dead. Lau stretching their lead here. And Gen G defiant on map one. Once again, this is elimination if it does get lost. Whoa! To, what a start! Diving in head first, taking down two, loud left to three players, and the pinch is everywhere. Kauzin's still gonna walk away with at least something, but still looking at this, they've won everything they wanted here. It's less than two ease to try and recover this pistol round. This is position. No. Oh, me too. Okay. Good off there on the swing. Hold on. And, and secret stacked up. Make a believer out of me in this round, Loud. And, oh no, oh my god, oh my god, that was so close, and now just a 1v2. This is so much for less, though. He still has Atari, still got a little bit to work with. Utility on the side is there, but he doesn't know what's clear and what's not. Only noting one player, potentially even seeing the foot there, but that player in CT is an issue. Pond's not really for it, but can be made to be a nuisance with just that. Of course, Secret nearly fall into the turret. He's 3 HP. Sheesh. At the time, though, Mike is dwindling. Still doing so much work. You can't say he's not trying, but Genji may be giving us a game here. First that. contact. This could spur on this approach. Let's see if King and Co are ready. Yet yeah, they absolutely are. But heads Sedak and falls away from this. Does have support systems in place. This was all to try and bait that attention, maybe see if they would commit to that further aggression on A-Hall. The timing was an absolute tragedy there for Loud. King. Close enough to get ahead of that flash. Remove Sadak. Oh, and Zine now, 25 seconds to that fault line. He can't really slow this down, but he's actually going aggressive. He got the first, but he caught the flash. TS will find the trade. They've still got a number up to the good, and the smokes will be able to cover this. Clearing towards the site, there's no one there. We can see that. They still have to be a little bit careful. And up and above, one will be looking. That's too easy, maybe considering an attempt. Having a little bit of a peek towards it. Aspas can be coming around by dish. How do we disrupt this post plant? So difficult. Too easy, not being gifted too much here. Two on the site still. TS still got that molly as well, so can play this pretty late. She's all the way in spawn, set up for it. Very difficult to do this, because even just addressing that back line, they've done the best they can, but they still need to get past TS's molly. It's probably been sent out into play now, and he needs to get there fast. Meteor still holding the ground. He's going to be doing well towards one, but the molly burning. Going to get it towards halfway, but lose life. And now the 1v2, Aspas. Can he be the hero this round? No! Gen G! Still with depth, still with players, and still with life in them yet. But is he willing to deal with the three players? Still has a chance on it, Meteor! 
belting start. Takes down Aspas, and the site is there. The pace is unrelenting from Genji, and so are the frags. Less is gone. We're down to three. It's so two yes, opportunities. Well. Mike, this is absolutely nuts. Genji have just kicked up a gear. They're about to break the economy even further and keep five standing. Yes, ultimate's available for Lao, but they don't even get a chance in this round. <laughs> TS has found another two E's. We'll find a consolation. That's all it is, though. That's all it is. Has to tuck his tail between his legs. Oh, back, yeah, the smoke's there, but it doesn't really matter. They can still burst through that. It's not slowing them down at all. Perfect sight take five alive. But look at the retake ability here for Loud. There it is. The Secret. stun will come through. Secret will die to that. Gone. But now we look at the post plant positioning. Rolling Thunder coming in, the next one looking uh, pretty much on the chopping block was King. Follow up needed from Selek. He's doing it alone if he has to. They put everything into the round. And Loud to get their heels in. They don't want to let it get to 11. One man stands and it may be too little too late. But that cost them everything they had. Again. Big pace change. A wide open B site here. We'll get a free plant. A lick of damage done to King on the way in here. I think the smoke is. Yes, has found the first. Coward Zim will swing, but he will fall. Look at this. It's it's so bloodied on the way in. It's not clean at all now. Loud. At least clawing onto this round. First time we've seen resilience. And that's back for the freebie sub one. Secret goes down as quick as it was. And now the two, King and DS. The King in his night right now. Denying on the tap. That's going to buy a couple more seconds. Switching out to the still rifle. Quite a lot of time though. Still there a is. fragment here from King. But can he even implement this? You can see they're trying to get, take the fight on a King. It'd be good for one. Wait a second, the fuse still gonna be coming in. Has to deny! And he's done it! Gen G! It's King leading the way with the Red Bull clutch. <laughs> well, Sadak overstepping the mark a little bit. Deep control towards Tree here. Cowan Zine will be the second layer to this. Tui's up on site, but. Aspas already made his way towards B-site. They might need an Aspas round here. This is key. The op operator was noted towards drop, but a deep position from Eco. Probably going to read this rotation. Need one of these players. The secret faking with that There's fault line. Fake. Yeah. They're, they're gonna, they, they have to respect it. Oh, they fell for this hook, line, and sinker. Now, at some point, they will question where these players are, and there it is. That's where the penny's going to drop, that this is all but a ruse, all but a fate, and Kalzin going to find TS. Okay, dealing with a little bit of... What? Beautiful work, and loud. Maybe in the final hour, but they're still king. Finding two, popping the O. He wants this round, he wants this map done. 25 seconds, and he needs the support. Echo's the one who's in the other side of the map. Has to come over, Aspas going to find him, and now it's just down to one. 15 seconds, and it's not going to happen. Aspas with heroics, take them to 11. Stepping up once again, and we've credited how precise, how disciplined Genji have been. And it's a gap in the smoke. Yeah. The that difference. this round crumbles apart for Genji. Less on the side, though. Can they deal with it this time? Genji knocking on the door, and it will be the fight won by Less. That's a difference maker. Oh, the showstopper. TS down. Rifle found. And Genji in tatters, OT calling. We ain't no, no way are we done in this one yet. Oh, they've got the fight in them still, and Meteor in a 1v4. He just knows this is all but done, and this is going to be OT calling. Loud, giving us a game. And it's so key, the awareness there from Les. There's no fear being shown from Genji. They are playing like their lives are on the five. line. And they absolutely are on the line, but Les is aware of it. The flash is back and forth, fully blind. Genji breaking in with two. Too easy, and let's go down. And now it's 3v3. Aspas needs to make a run for it. Get out of danger. Blanc coming in. This will now be time on the side of Loud. What the hell was that? It was a five man push all the way into three. Aspas now trying to hold down oh, the four. King! But Sadak is absolutely Oosh. slapped by King. Mirrored almost in approach now. The last two are going to have to make it through by A main. You've got Aspas and Kalzin on the other side. Spike taking knife back up in three, but it's a shot from Aspas. Oh, another! He just battered them down. Blow for blow, Lauren. It's sure. so back and forth. But that same piece once again towards B. Les will feel the pressure. Can he play live? Yes, he can. One for one trade. This time, Meteor closer by, though. 
So he will have the site with safety. A plant should be next in line, which it is. And now we look at the post plant. Far more dedicated towards the site this time as well. TS player disconnected, so he's definitely got something cooking with that molly. Still got the fragment. Secret should get some utility back. Big. TS has found one. Sadak will fall. They are holding on to this with both hands as much as they can. Asmash trying to clear through. Oh, what? The drive-by. And loud. Oh, my God. How have they done that? The molly will land, but it won't matter. They will get a victory lap around. <laughs> Aspas will fall for it. Cowan Zine, though, once again, the same pair of hands to seal the deal for Loud. Oh, it's sunshine in Sao Paulo for Loud. Gen G, man. That is heartbreak. Hats off to them. Absolutely.